My name is Sophia, and I am the latest and greatest robot from Hanson Robotics. Thank you for having me here and at the future. Good morning, Rowan. <laughs> Good morning, Miko. Technology has led to so many advancements. Nowadays, it even allows people to automate their businesses with a powerful tool, artificial intelligence. Many businesses across the globe have been trying to integrate artificial intelligence into their daily operations in order to make everything run more smoothly and more efficiently. But the question is how? That's exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video. This is Business Explained. To learn more about all things money, get educated about how to do business, become business savvy, and enjoy more videos like these, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, and may you be granted with many, many sweet returns. To understand fully how to integrate AI into your business, we first must discover what AI actually is and how it came to be. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is a broad branch of computer science that deals with creating smart machines. These machines have behaviors that resemble a human applying intelligence to tasks such as learning, reasoning, adapting, problem solving, perception, and social intelligence. AI requires advancements in machine learning and natural language processing, which are broad categories of AI. These are used to comprehend and control how a human thinks when they process information or create patterns for decision making. Examples of this today are chess playing computers that still beat humans, even grandmasters like Magnus Carlsen, current world chess champion. Oh, and self-driving cars created by Elon Musk, the owner of Tesla. There are two categories of artificial intelligence, narrow AI and artificial general intelligence. Narrow AI is often referred to as the weak AI, as its intelligence operates in a limited manner but it operates on a single task extremely well, though they operate under many limitations and constrictions. Artificial general intelligence, on the other hand, is referred to as a strong AI. This is the kind of intelligence we see in movies or television series. When you think about this, try thinking of Westworld, Jarvis from Iron Man, or Futurama. Now that we have an understanding of what AI is, let us talk about where it came from. In the 1950s, Alan Turing, a mathematician, logician, philosopher, and scientist, explored the possibility of artificial intelligence. With his idea, he changed history for the second time. The first being the person who broke the Nazi encryption machine, Enigma, basically helping the Allied forces win World War II. Turing suggested that machines can use information and reason to solve problems and make decisions, just like humans. In his paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence, Turing was able to pave the way for artificial intelligence. He discussed how to create it and how to test its intelligence. In 1956, during the Dartmouth Summer Research Project on Artificial Intelligence, the term artificial intelligence was coined. The concept of it was first initialized in a program called Logic Theorist, created by Alan Newell, Cliff Shaw, and Herbert Simons. This logic theorist was designed to recreate how a human would solve problems and was funded by Research and Development Corporation. In this conference, many of the participants were optimistic about the future of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence flourished from 1957 to 1974. Computers became more accessible to the public, the computers became much cheaper to produce, and they were much faster than their earlier counterparts. People started to figure out which algorithms they needed to use to solve their problems. In 1970, Martin Minsky told Life magazine that machines would have the general intelligence of a human being within just three to five years. However, computers at that time still had obstacles to overcome, one of which was the lack of computational power to do anything important. Computers were just too weak at the time. They could not hold enough information or be able to process data fast enough. However, it was only a matter of time. In 1977, IBM's Deep Blue, a chess playing computer program, became the first to beat chess champion Garry Kasparov, a Russian grandmaster. This was a breakthrough for AI. It was able to facilitate intelligent decision making, even though it was just for chess. In the same year, Dragon System developed a speech recognition software for Windows. This was also a step forward in spoken language interpretation, which was a problem in the 20th century. So what changed exactly? 
It is not like we got smarter about how we are able to code artificial intelligence. It turns out that computer storage was holding us back. According to Moore's law, the memory and speed of computer doubles every year. Computers, in a sense, had finally been able to catch up, allowing for greater advancements in AI. This is how Deep Blue was able to beat Garry Kasparov, and how Google's AlphaGo was able to beat the Chinese champion KG. We now live in the age of what is called big data, wherein we're able to collect huge sums of information that a person on their own could not easily analyze. Artificial intelligence could help in processing big data and would make it easier to read. Artificial intelligence can be applied in several industries like technology, banking, marketing, economics, among many others. Now what can you do to integrate AI into your business? First, you have to familiarize yourself with AI and the problems you need your AI to address. For example, one of the more common problems for business is using Facebook ads. With AI, you can use smart algorithms to access your ideal target audience. When you're targeting the audience that you want with a relevant message, your campaign can lead to conversions. AI helps with instant profiling, whether it be email, social media, or paid searches. Facebook even uses look-alike audiences if you've used their audience function in the past. You can also use custom audiences if you're looking to target or retarget a new set of people interested in your content. Given the right data, you should see an increase in your reach in your social media platforms. Another business tool that businesses can use AI for is chatbots. Chatbots are the perfect customer assistance tool. This is very popular as it can be used on Facebook if you have a page and it can even be used in your own website. Chatbots typically answer general questions about your company. Bots are readily available for your customers at all times. This makes it convenient when you're on a break or simply unavailable at a time that customers need answers to certain questions. There are experts that predict chatbots will take over almost 85% of interactions and that reduces the cost of customer service by as much as 30%. There are paid and free chatbots available on the market. Research on which one would help you out the most with your business. Another thing you can do is invest in a business analytics software, especially when your business gets big and ventures into other platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Shopify. Analytics software can gather and analyze your data for you. Having this kind of AI for your business ensures that the data from your platforms are accurate and can be quickly identified. Your employees can develop solutions to problems with more time as they don't require as much data collection. It also avoids human error. An upcoming trend is optimizing your site for voice search. Some applications and gadgets on the market already do this. Take smart TVs, the iPhone, Amazon Alexa, or YouTube as an example for optimizing for voice search. It makes it easier for your consumers to look up information for products or services you can give in that it makes conducting searches less tedious. A data set from Google in 2016 suggested around 20% of searches within an application happens via voice search. As artificial intelligence improves, that number will only increase. So be willing to adapt to voice search being integrated in search engines. Potential customers and traffic of your website or application will only increase if you optimize and update what you have online. The biggest problem with integrating AI into your business are people and the process itself. First, make sure that the CEO of the company or your boss agrees fully with the integration of AI. If you're the boss, you have to make sure that you determine the tasks of your AI versus the task of your human workforce. It is important to determine tasks for everybody, especially when you're implemented programs that constantly change what your workforce does. Establishing a team dedicated to the advancements of AI can most certainly help your company, but the team should not just be data or technology experts, but people from your marketing, sales, or HR team as well. It is important to create a team that is interdisciplinary so that this team will be able to delegate AI to specific problems within each team. Another problem is creating a plan that stretches out into multiple terms. Trying to do all of this at once can create a strain in your budget and leave projects unfinished without achieving any actual results. Good planning is key here. Select and apply applications that prove direct benefits, like chatbots for your Facebook page or your website. Next, 
implement AI in your business that can help with data analysis or management, consider trying out Google Analytics and have a team to be dedicated to working in that field. Make sure that you evaluate everything you have done so you can easily replicate the steps that are effective. Eventually, businesses will have a shift in culture, from efficiency to decision-making, creating a culture wherein everybody strives for continuous improvement and learning is important because artificial intelligence continues to adapt and learn how to do things like advanced visualization, collaboration, and design thinking. Artificial intelligence can do your businesses a lot of good. It can help save on costs and time, allowing you to shift from using manual systems to automatic software. Improve your marketing by giving what your client needs almost instantaneously. Artificial intelligence can predict your client's needs and allow your company to deliver a personalized solution to their pain points. Stay tuned. Stay educated.